Alin at sagutan natin ang mga learning tasks sa Grade 5 Math, Quarter 2, Week 8. At ang ating Lesson 3 ay ang Definition and Description of a Proportion. The ratio of sampalok candy to sampalok is 24 to 3, or 24 is to 3. Kung isusulat naman sa fraction, 24 over 3, at ang GCF ng 24 at 3 ay 3, i-divide natin. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So, ang equivalent fraction niya ay 8 to 1. Ang magiging extremes ay 24 at 1. At ang means naman ay 3 at 8. Tingnan natin kung equal ang kanilang product. 24 times 1 equals 24. 3 times 8 equals 24. So, ibig sabihin, equivalent ang kanilang ratio o equivalent ang kanilang product. Proportion ang ating ratio. Pag-aralan pa natin ang proportion sa ratios. Sagutan natin ang learning task 1. Draw a heart if each given ratio shows proportion and a star if it does not. Sa number 1, i-multiply natin ang means. 9 times 9 equals 81. At sa extremes naman ay 3 times 27 equals 81. So, ang ating ratio o ang dalawang ratio ay proportion or equal. Ang sagot natin ay heart. Sa number 2 naman, 1 times 5 equals 5. And then sa extremes, 7 times 3 equals 81. So, ang sagot natin ay star. Hindi proportion ang number 2 ratios. Number 3, sa means ay 5 times 5 equals 25 at sa extremes naman ay 15 times 15 equals 225. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito proportion. Kung i-compare ang dalawang ratio, ay magkaiba ang kanilang product. Number 4, ang means ay 2 at 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. Ang extremes naman ay 8 times 1 equals 8. Parehong 8 ang product. So, the answer is heart. Parehong proportion ang ratio sa number 4. Sa number 5 naman ay 20 times 12 equals 240. And then sa extremes ay 6 times 40 equals 240. Ang ating sagot ay heart or proportion. Pareho ng product ang mga ratio sa number 5. Read and analyze the problem. Ito ay sa learning task 2. A bag of N&N &N sweets contain just yellow and orange sweets. There are 6 orange sweets. Complete the table below, then answer the questions that follow. Sa yellow, ang given ay 4 and 6. Sa orange naman ay 6 and 12. Ang total sweets, ang given lang ay 24. Kaya, makikita naman natin na ang divisibility ng yellow ay 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. At sa yellow naman, ay divisibility na 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Sa sweets naman ay iaad lang natin ang yellow at orange. Kaya makukuha na natin ang total. Pero makikita rin natin ang divisibility ng 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Solve the given problems. Number 1. What is the ratio of orange to yellow sweets? The answer is 3 to 1. Number 2, if you have 8 yellow sweets, how many yellow will be there? The answer is 24. Number 3, there are 32 sweets in the medium-sized bag. How many yellow will there be? 
Our answer is 8. Number 4, in the extra large bag, there are 40 sweets. How many orange will there be? The answer is 30. And number 5, you look into the sweets in a bowl and found 16 yellow sweets. How many sweets are there in the bowl? The answer is 64. Pwede nyo namang balikan ang chart para sa lubos na malaman ang tamang sagot. Learning Task 3. Solve the given problems. Number 1. What number is compared to 10 is the same as 25 compared to 5? The answer is 50. Number 2. Juliana saved 60 pesos in 4 weeks. At this rate, how long will it take to generate 300 pesos? The answer is 20 weeks. Number 3. A motorist traveled 240 kilometers in 3 hours. At the same rate, how long will it take to reach 400 kilometer distance? The answer is 5. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panunood at pakikinig. Hanggang sa muli!